Good day, liberators. There are numerous of scams doing their rounds, and it appears as if they are more than ever, and still people are falling for them. Unfortunately, scams do not discriminate. You can be the most intelligent person in the entire world, or the best connected, but if a scam comes your way, you might be surprised that you, you're going to fall for it. And most probably, the three scams that I'm going to highlight in this video specifically, maybe you're already part of that, and you don't even know that it's a scam. And I will not be surprised that many of you might report back and say, but I'm part of that, and I never realized for one sec that it's a scam. And let me go into the three major scams that I'm going to highlight. Uh, the first one is what I call the Donald Trump scam. Uh, the second one is uh, scams, and there are many of, of them, versions of them, where people invest in a certain product or something, and then the company or the person uh, say that it will be, be sold for a profit, and then there's a profit sharing. And then the third one is uh, something that is very, very, very uh, delicate, and uh, I'm, I'm, I call it the emancipation scam. Now, let me start off by just indicating that it appears to me from my own experience working with or assisting people to get out of these scams, that they target conservative people and Christians in particular. Now, unfortunately, there is a battle going on in the world uh, between the new liberalists and conservative people. And unfortunately, the new liberalists are the one with the, with the money and, and with the resources to, above others, utilize artificial intelligence to appear so real that, that you might think that it's Reino de Beer here speaking, but it might be, might be someone totally, totally different. Um, for example, it's so easy to create videos with artificial intelligence uh, where, where someone's face, like Donald Trump, for example, is put onto someone else. And there's another one with Elon Musk. They are doing the rounds. And, and, uh, and, and in these videos, uh, it appears as if Elon Musk is such a big conservative and, and supporter of, of, of our thought line. But um, those are all scams, um, artificial intelligent, uh, intelligence created videos. And um, unfortunately, artificial intelligence has become so sophisticated that, that they, they put people with AI bots onto uh, your, your platforms and they integrate and communicate with your platform as if you really think that it's a human being. And uh, if you're Afrikaans speaking, for example, like myself, they will put Afrikaans speaking surnames and names in those AI bots. And, and when you go onto an AI platform and you ask a question, you will realize that the AI platform will give you the answer that you require. And, and that is how they are so, so real. Um, and they convince you that please invest or follow this person because Reino de Beer, they, they look in, in your, these AI bots look into your contact list and those on uh, on your groups and they target them and say but but Reino de Beer has invested and and you should too. Uh, two days back on Liberty Fighters Network uh, Telegram group it happened. A post went through as Liberty Fighters Network inviting people to become part of some sort of investment and people know us and if we say that please invest in this or follow this then they will. You, you have to listen to, to this. And I believe that Christians and conservatives are targeted because the, our enemies want to take our resources and money away so that we cannot fight them. That is the purpose. They want to, to take away our properties and I will go into them. We, we, the, 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 the properties, the, the, the immovable properties of people are being taken by these scams in the process. So you have to share this as widely as possible, as, as, as far and wide as possible, so that as many as possible people know what is going on. Let me start off with the first scam. Donald Trump. During, when Donald Trump became president the first time way back, I believe that was in, was it in 2019 or so, oh, sorry, I forgot, but he got marketing uh, companies to assist him 
with promoting his candidacy. And they actually started with the AI bots um, marketing scams, uh, whereby people have been invited um, to become part of groups, um, investing in something that, that's promoted by either uh, um, Donald Trump or and, and Elon Musk is also a very good example. Um, and, and then then people think that they, conservatives, Republicans, think that Donald Trump is real. But all those videos that's, that's made and circulated are only snippets and it's artificially uh, intelligent manipulated that he's saying something and now everyone must be happy about it because these groups that's created where, where you're added to um, know exactly what is your niche. And th they, they target things that, that you know and that you communicate on, on your platforms. Uh, and they target that and use that specifically to lure you into these marketing scams. People invest in, in Donald Trump. He's, he's one of the richest people in the world, but they still believe that he needs money to um, to do his stuff and, and to become the, the the president for second term. And um, the, these scams really target the gullible conservatives at the end of the day. Those who really think that Donald Trump is the savior of the world, notwithstanding that there's ample proof that he's part and parcel of the problem we are having. So people, number one, do not fall for Donald Trump scams and investments. It's a process that he's using to manipulate people to know about his media and what is happening with him. So that you become part and, and start sharing all that news and it sounds so wonderful, but it's all, most of them are fake. Or it's, it's part of real news that has just been manipulated to such extent that it sounds believable. Then the second one, investment in something. Um, and then someone will sell it at a profit and then there's profit sharing and you will become a multimillionaire very soon. Um, for example, um, recently the, the diamond investment of Louis Liebenberg. People, he told people and those who invested in his packets, he said that there's packets and I'm going to sell it. You must invest in these packets and I'm going to sell it to you. And uh, for, for you, and then we go to share the profit. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm acting illegally. I'm not using the 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 Kimberley process, the legal route. I'm. I'm a Robin Hood. I want to share the wealth of South Africa, uh, in in and specifically the diamond mining industry. And um, I want you to invest in it and share in the wealth, just like we're taking back our mineral resources. The moment when anyone tells you that they are breaking the law and they want you to invest in that breaking the law, it's you cannot get your money back. You cannot claim for something that you willfully knew was illegal. You cannot get your money back. And Louis Liebenberg knows it. And the fact that Louis Liebenberg openly promoted this and he even indicated that he got diamond mines from all diamond mines from the beers and why would the Beers give him or sell him a diamond mine if they knew that he was in, 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 um, in um, competition with, with them? Why would they do that? Why would they allow him, the Beers, allow him to openly promote illegal activity? My opinion is that Louis Liebenberg was always an agent of the Oppenheimers and the Ruperts. He's part and parcel of that. He lured Farmers specifically, Afrikaans speaking Christian farmers to invest in his diamond mining scheme. And at the end of the day, notwithstanding that I've warned people not to liquidate them because the liquidation process itself was the scam to get your money legally. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is that the, the liquidators will say, but Louis Liebenberg told you to invest in something that's illegal. And you're not entitled to get any money. But the people, notwithstanding my, my plead, please to the public not to liquidate because you're going to lose. They went to the one after the other attorney and there were something like a hundred, I don't know, there were plenty of applications for liquidation. And at the end of the day, the little money that is left or could be found. And I, I honestly think that there was not nearly 45,000 investors as, as was promoted. There was not nearly billions of rand invested in this. It was used, it was blown up out of proportion 
to make people believe that there are a lot of investors and to lure the people to pay in money and unfortunately your money has been stolen. Um, the moment when someone comes to you and say that, please invest in this, it's illegal, I'm a Robin Hood, we're going to circumvent the law, it's an illegal transaction, you cannot get your money back. Just like you cannot get your money back from a prostitute and claim your money back from a prostitute um, because she wasn't that great uh, as you wanted her to be. Um, in the same sense, you cannot get your money back from Liebenberg's uh, ventures as well because he openly told the people that people... I'm acting illegally. I'm not following the Kimberley process. Uh, all the diamonds that I have, I'm selling it offhand. And then further people, the entire diamond mining, uh, diamond industry is a scam by itself. Diamonds are not scarce. It's a, it's a, it's a, there are many, 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 many diamonds. It's enough diamonds uh, for, for everyone. But it's the, the marketing and the produce of it is being manipulated. Um, the, the demand, the, the supply, the demand are manipulated by the beers, diamonds specifically, and all the Tel Aviv and London and and so forth um, partners. And uh, I've seen this one video about the diamond mining industry, whereby this guy was standing in Tel Aviv in this warehouse, um, and it was in a he entered a room of about three by three meters garage size, and um, it was stacked with bags of diamonds from the top to the bottom. Um, and the host of the documentary asked this person, but how many others, others warehouses or rooms are there? And he said something like, yeah, there's 29 other rooms stacked like this. So it's a manipulation. And then the Chinese are busy putting cubic sarconias um, developed in, in a lab onto the market. That's, it's diamonds. And it's flawless diamonds, uh, in fact. So for Louis Liebenberg to have said that you're going to make money out of this and you don't even know whether it's cubic zirconius or even, even sand um, that's in that pocket. Uh, but he marketed it as real diamonds, authentic diamonds coming out of the ground, the soils of South Africa specifically. Um, and, and I'm just mentioning the diamonds, but... They, they are scams specifically targeting farmers and the, the conservative farmers. Um, I've seen scams uh, targeting them relating to, um, to investments in, in, in sheep, uh, whereby you invest in a, in a scarpy, in a sheepy, and then um, this guy will grow it and, and ensure that, that the, 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 the sheep uh, is, is getting matured. Uh, to, to, to sell to the abattoir, and then you will get your profit when it's sold at the abattoir. And, and unfortunately, people have, why would farmers invest in that if they can actually get the sheep farming going for themselves um, on their own, own farm? Uh, why invest in someone else's scheme? Um, and, and the moment when, when uh, Herman specifically communicated with this person who had that scheme going uh, and started asking questions, um, about how it operates and so forth. This guy quickly realized that, oh, Herman has got uh, know what is going on and, and he was blocked. But um, that, 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 that's something simple. And, um, oh, in, in the same sense, I'm talking about the Zim dollar investment. Um, at, at 2009, um, people in uh, Zimbabwe went through a terrible period uh, financially and, and there was a lot of, of um, um, inflation. And at the end of the day, uh, they had to print trillions of dollars currencies. Now, there are people who are telling you that, that you have to invest in this. And this is also part of, of, of uh, Trump-connected marketing as well, whereby uh, people think that when Trump is going to become president, the markets are going to flourish and above others. This trillion, 10 trillion Zim dollar that you have bought for a hundred US dollars on eBay, uh, which is actually maybe worth 10 cents, uh, if any, um, will become 10 trillion US dollars because the, the Zim dollar and the US dollar will be connected and it will be exactly the same. And people do not invest in such schemes. And then lastly, something that is very, very near to my heart, is the emancipation scam. People, it is a scam. If you really think that you can emancipate yourself by sending documents to the chief justice and to the post office and to the court and to the president and whoever to say that you're disconnecting yourself from, from, from the current system and you are sovereign 
breathing human being and um, you not going to pay taxes uh, all debt will be uh, 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 extinguished uh, your home will become your your property it's your soil um, and, and the bank doesn't have anything to do with it anymore company or business is like you are law and then there's individuals like uh, Zane Lawrence specifically they promoting this emancipation scam a lot making people believe that if you do this in their way and uh, you will you will extinguish all debt so if the bank wants to come and, and sue you and they're busy with a legal process you can just file it and say that oh i'm emancipated and and, and please you cannot take my property anymore and you win you go and you you don't file it in the court file and um, now they cannot debt you people your debt will never disappear in fact because you are posting or, or filing documents court documents in that file you are law who's compiling that for you at ex i've heard someone has paid thirty thousand rand or so um there's one uh, individual who has been helped of he has been helped and apparently it appears that all his debt disappeared um now now the agreement between him and you are law and uh, specifically and for star um is that that you going to uh, to have to pay 50 percent of the value of your property to us as a as a gift or as a as a commission that we've assisted you so um will you have to pay that uh, in, in currency deposit it into the account which is part of the system or will you have to get sandbags full of of 2.4 million that's claimed must be put in 2.4 million rand worth of feathers or maybe soil sand from this from the beach in there and and give it to them as payment because they don't accept they cannot accept currency because currency is part of the system people if if you are so gullible to fall for those scam for for that scam specifically that that you are going to be this wonderful sovereign person and all your debt will be extinguished and but you have to pay them money thirty thousand rand cash if they are emancipated themselves they cannot accept currency it's worth nothing to them but they accept it from you and you are so gullible to actually pay them for that um you know it's it's i don't know but but you know it's it's getting ridiculous these emancipation scams people emancipation is in theory wonderful but if you really follow emancipation you don't have to send documents to to the post office and to the chief justice and whoever it can be done automatically you can just decide i am a sovereign person i'm not going to utilize the system anymore and you must dissect yourself from the system you must go and live in the mountains and at the end of the day um it's you go and live and, and get yourself off the grid don't utilize the system but unfortunately it's not possible to dissect you 100 percent that is why we are promoting that take their own system and use it against them that, that is what we at liberty fighters network is very uh, prominent for and we are very much successful in that use their system against them because emancipation technically speaking is only for those who don't know how to use their own system against themselves that is for emancipation i don't even think that anfister has ever sit in a courtroom and and listen to the one after the other case and her experience in law is probably much less than most of you out there i don't even think that she ever once addressed the court and if she did did she tell the judge that i am emancipated and a sovereign human being breathing and your courtroom i'm not part of your system i'm i'm a sovereign human being well what did the judge say because out of my experience the judge is going to say go to hell um he's, he's going to chase you as i know happened before chase you out of his courtroom when you start with that because it's not emancipation cannot be enforced why use something and pay you are law and zane lawrence or whoever uh, thousands tens of thousands of rand to emancipate if it does not work it cannot be enforced you cannot the moment when when the bank's attorneys receive your emancipation documentation and, and oh you you have transferred your 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 date or, or the, the the court order into a trust and you you making the 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 judge the trustee of this trust you've created and crap like that people they're just going to ignore you so you will not know of the 
a legal attachment of your property at the end of the day because everything because you haven't followed the correct procedure they can legally ignore you and um and just proceed one day the sheriff will come to your property and, and say but this property is going on auction and you can't do anything about it we've got so many people who have fallen for the scam this one farm farming family nine generations or have lost their, their property and we're trying our best to assist them to get their farm back um they've lost them because they believe in emancipation they believe in what Anne Verster told them and now they are in dire straits but they, they, we we have to do risk management constantly to try and get them out of that and it's so difficult if you've lost if you've missed the train when when you had to go to court and you just said that i'm emancipated and it's fine uh, you've lost your opportunity to save your property and besides when, when you pay for a legal document that's going to be filed in a court process and and you are law is not registered as legal practitioners they are acting illegally as legal practitioners because they receiving money for legal work legal services that is the fact uh, that is why liberty fighters network must always tell people that what we are doing we do not expect anything in return because if the moment when we expect any favor anything in return we are actually acting as legal practitioners so people be warned do not make yourself um, a fall a victim to all these scams going around if you are not sure about an investment go and google go and duck, duck, go go and investigate uh, make sure that that this investment you're going to make is a legitimate one um, and this process you are following is a legitimate one and it can actually be enforced um, people thank you very much for your support um, and um, please you are most welcome to um, to discuss any of, of potential investments or so forth with us for our advice. Free of charge, not expecting anything in return. And um, that is how we operate. Um, God bless. Until the next time. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network. Liberty Fighters Network.